The topic of today's session is querying Amazon Redshift from your .NET applications. Amazon Redshift is a fast, scalable data warehouse that makes it simple and cost-effective to analyze all your data across your data warehouse and data lake. To get started, we first need to launch a Redshift cluster. Go to the Redshift service in the AWS Management Console and click Quick Launch Cluster. Select your node type. In this case, I'm selecting a DS2.xlarge. DS2 node types are optimized for large data workloads and use hard disk drive storage. DC2 node types are optimized for performance intensive workloads. Because they use solid state drive storage, the DC node types deliver much faster I.O. compared to DS node types, but provide less storage space. Specify a password and username if you desire, otherwise use the default AWS user. And click Launch Cluster. It'll take a few minutes to create your Redshift cluster and get it into a ready state. Feel free to refresh the screen, otherwise the page will update periodically. When the Redshift cluster is ready, you'll see an endpoint. You can view the other cluster properties, such as the number of nodes, node type, as well as the cluster status, as well as the node IP addresses. Once the cluster is ready, copy the endpoint, as you'll need that in the connection details in your .NET application. Now let's open Visual Studio and create a .NET Core console application that will connect to your Redshift cluster. Give it a name such as Redshift Query App. After the application is created, remove the Hello World code. I'm copying and pasting code from the Amazon Redshift documentation. This code initializes a data set and data table and constructs an ODBC connection object. Make sure you add the system.data.odbc NuGet package. Ensure the project builds without error at this point. I'm going to try and run the application, but I'll encounter a runtime error stating that no default driver is specified. If you navigate to the Amazon Redshift documentation, you'll see links to Amazon Redshift ODBC drivers on Microsoft Windows. Depending on your operating system and application, either download the x86 or x64 version of the drivers. In my case, I'm installing the x64 version of the driver. You may have to reboot after installing the driver. Just in case, I'll reboot my computer. Now open your application and try and run it again. And you'll see a listing of table names in the newly created Redshift cluster and database. Well, this concludes this presentation of integrating Amazon Redshift in your .NET application. Thanks for watching.